It's an alarming figure. More than 700,000 people in Miami-Dade and Broward face the daily threat of an empty dinner table. Now all new at 5.30, Team 6 reporter Julia Bag shows us how local low-income families are finding ways to fight hunger. For 57-year-old Karen Neal, picking up free, fresh produce once a week in Fort Lauderdale makes a healthy difference. This helps out tremendously. Now, it, Sometimes the line is backed up all around to the third street because people don't have the money and the food and some of us don't qualify for food stamps. So this fills in the blank. Neil will dress up this okra with some bacon and rice, then share it with her mother, daughter and grandkids. So a distribution like this really helps supplement a family's uh, food budget and and uh, and maintain their their mortgage. What families don't spend here, they can save for other essential bills, says Paco Velez. He's CEO of Feeding South Florida, a hunger relief charity. There's over 300 million pounds of fresh produce that goes to waste in, in just Florida. And so what we want to do is we want to rescue as much of that healthy product as we can to get it to families that are struggling to put food on the table. The USDA reports 50 million people live in American households that are struggling to put food on the table. Peanut, yeah, peanuts. Yeah. In Miami, children at Jesse J. McCrary Elementary line up to take home 12 ready-to-eat meals in a bag from Feeding South Florida. 568 sacks of canned goods, snacks, and other non-perishables to help fill appetites heading into summer. Velez's parent charity, Feeding America, reports in Miami-Dade County more than one in four children live in a household facing food insecurity. Food insecurity is really the inability to provide meals for, for, for yourself. These meals don't require a stove or a microwave. They're ready to eat anywhere. Thank you, thank you. Feeding America reports in all, 3.5 million Floridians struggle with hunger every day, 18.7% of the state's population. To learn more about their struggle, go to NBC6.com. In the studio, Julia Bag, NBC6 South Florida. And we're